the humans. They are just below us. We go now. Doc, weren't you piloting the chopper? <laughs> Don't worry about it, fellas. We'll be okay. We got plenty of provisions. I packed three backpacks full of food just in case an emergency like this came up. Thank goodness. Great thinking, squad. We can always count on you, buddy. Okay, guys. Time to pop our shoot. <laughs> Someone tells me that wasn't a good thing, man! Hey! Morning, Bill, old buddy! Had a wonderful shower! Great day, huh? Say, what you working on? Looks mighty interesting, whatever it is. What is it, Bill? Huh? You can tell me. No, 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 wait! I'll bet I can guess. It's, uh, a uh, spatula, right? No, no, it's a uh, chinchilla! No. Um, oh, I know! It's a paintbrush, right? A paintbrush? What are you talking about, a paintbrush? Look, you buffoon. It is called a wheel, and it's gonna revolutionize everything. Wow, Bill, it sounds really delicious! You've invented veal! Not veal, the wheel, you cranium drain trilobite! It's only the greatest invention ever of all time! A wheel? But, um, that's not a wheel, Bill. Of course it's a wheel. How do you know it's not a wheel? Anyway, I just invented it! Well, I don't want to burst your bubble, Bill, but... Oh, never mind. What do you mean you don't want to burst my bubble? What do you know about wheels? Oh, nothing! You go ahead! No, you better tell me about this. Did you invent a wheel? Well, yes. But yours is better. It's just... Just what? <laughs> well, it's the wrong shape, Bill. I'm sorry. The wrong shape? What shape should it be? Mr. Smarty Skins, huh? What shape is yours? Hmm? Well, it's round, Bill, so it turns better. Turns? Well, yeah, that's what a wheel is for. But, but you knew that. Well, of course that's what I was going to use it for. What else would I use a wheel for except to turn things around with the wheel? Well, I guess you know what you're doing. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me see this wheel of yours. Well, sure, if you really want to. It's probably wrong, though. Well, here it is. So that's it, huh? This is round, hmm? Yeah! See, you stand on this part and it rolls down a hill. Think of the possibilities! Hey, you want to try it? Sir, I don't think it's going to work, though. My shape is better. See? I told you it wouldn't work. You have to push it, Bill. Like this! <laughs> well, what do you know? Ow, ow. <laughs> Luckily, most of our equipment survived the fall. I'm looking forward to trying out a new subsonic beehive super cannon. This super weapon will definitely destroy them, right, Doc? We'll get them this time, right? I mean, if they don't know where we are... Those elusive humans will never be able to detect our presence in this heavily camouflaged hideout. From here, we will pick them up on our monitors and track their every move until... Until... POW! They won't even know what hit them! Yeah! For once, the element of surprise will be on our side! Yeah! <laughs> the biggest, nastiest beehive this planet's ever seen. Nothing could survive the blast from that little beauty. Huh? Uh, hey, you guys? Not now, squad. 
All right, Kata. Let's move this detonator across camp. But you guys, there's something. Shut up, squad. Can't you see we're busy? Hey, really, guys? I, I think quiet, there's... squad. This is very delicate work. Now, when we have located the humans, we simply depress this button and. Yeah! Run! What's with him? Sometimes I think he may be too high strong for this kind of work. <laughs> Galapagos, as you know, this committee is investigating possibly suspect military tactics, specifically your termination squad, these... these thunder lizards. According to your latest reports, this team has yet to complete their mission and rid the world of those two pesky humans. In the meantime, these mankinds are wreaking havoc on the environment and destroying everything in its path. When can we expect results from your team, General Galapagos? Don't you worry, gentle sores. The Thunder Lizards have been equipped with a powerful new weapon. Our dinosaur society will be free from any more acts of senseless destruction wrought by these humans. <laughs> Why, I'll bet these humans will be blasted from the face of the Earth before you can say... Incoming! At this point, I recommend the Council take a short recess to run around and scream. All in favor? You numbskulls! Squad, why didn't you warn us? But I tried, you told me! Quiet, both of you. Don't you realize what's happened here? These mankinds have detected our presence and launched some sort of high-tech missile to wreck our base. We have to start all over. They are obviously too smart for us. We have to be even more covert. Storm, and I made this addition. It's called a break, huh? What do you think? See, I suddenly thought to myself, boy, you could really get going on that thing. You could even get hurt. So I made this. It's used to stop the wheel from turning. Great idea, huh? Give it a try. Oh, ah! Just press the brake. Try it out. <laughs> Hurry up, we've got to relocate before those two mankinds attack again. Do you really think these humans are that clever? Do you really believe they've locked in on opposition to the point of hitting us on the move? Ah! Yes! The answer is yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'm sorry, I, I I snapped. But I'm better now. I can walk tall, with dignity, like a thunder lizard. You see, guys, I got huh, that's better. Hello. Aren't you forgetting something? Ah, there it is! Hmm, maybe I should think about inventing airbags. <sighs> Must make the hurting stop. This is it, Doc! The last of the subsonic beehive bombs! My aim will be true. Can I pull the trigger, Doc? Can I, huh? Can I, Doc? Come on! Do it now before we lose your Doctor attention. Doctor Lizard's roll! That was incredible, man! The way he deflected the projectile! General Galapagos is not going to be happy. We won't tell him, Doc, right? I mean, if we don't tell him, he'll never find out, right? How could those Thunder Lizards be that stupid? I mean, they fired a subsonic beehive bomb right into the Jurassic Center. They leveled half the city, and, and they're still out there somewhere with another one. 
Now, honey, let's just enjoy our picnic and forget all about those silly old thunder lizards. Forget? I don't think I'll ever forget that sound, that horrible whistling bomb sound. It was so, so unique. Did it sound like that? Exactly. Isn't that terrible? Horrible, dear. <gasps> oh, look, honey. Thunder lizard, you numbskull. Here it is, Eek. We're going to Squishy Mountain. There's a Squishy Bear's in the right over there. There's a Squishy as far as you know. They have Squishy Hairs. Because they're Squishy Bears. You got those Squishy Bears. It'll be 11128 dollars Here's your map of the park. You can pick up the tram in Sector 54B in the Puffy section. Just Thank you, nice Lady man. Bear. Hey, look, Bob, there's the puffy section. That's a puffy, that's cozy, JP. Oh, well, this looks as good a place to park as any. Vana Nos Amigos! Yay! Now, everybody remember where we parked. Hi, folks, and welcome to Squishy Mountain! Please keep your heads, paws, and hands inside the vehicle at all times. Kumbaya! Squishy Mountain really is the jolliest place on Earth! I can hardly wait to meet Pierre. He's my favorite squishy bear. Eek, will you take my picture with Pierre when we find him? Mm-hmm. Yay! Of course I'll help Wendy Elizabeth. She's swell to me and it's the least I could do. Look, kids, it's Hoyt Gundercrust, the actual founder of Squishy Mountain. Let's press the button and learn more about his magical domain. But, Bob, we want to go on a ride. We want to spin in something until we don't feel well anymore. Now, J.B., there's nothing wrong with getting a little education along with our frivolous fun. As a matter of fact, our United States Congress demands it. Hello, folks. My, my, don't you all look nice today. What a handsome man. I'm Hoyt Guntercross, creator of the Squishy Bears. If you want to hear me a little clearer, try putting an old-fashioned fiber in the slot. Right here on this spot, spot, that's where I had the idea for the, for the squ squishy, for the squishy bears. And over there is the very first prize, the giant hole, hole, hole. And over there, there's the lawsuit waiting to happen, to happen coaster. And just across the magic, magic lake. Well, JP, it's Pierre! Come on! Oh, I don't see Pierre anywhere, JP! Where's Bob? <gasps> oh, no, Eek! <laughs> We're lost on Squishy Mountain! Kumbaya! Well, I can only hope Eek and the kids remember that if we got separated... We we're supposed to meet under the giant inflatable pier at 10 p.m. It's a good thing Mom's out ahead. I'll just make sure the kids get there at 10. Well, gee, Wendy Elizabeth, until we find Bob, let's go on the Tilto Puke! That line's way too long, JB. Come on, let's get on this one. Oh, brother, that ride is for babies, Wendy Elizabeth. Look at the people, they all look like they're yawning. Oh, good, that means it's probably not too scary. But I bring an eat just in case. Come on, JB. <laughs> I'll go on this dumb ride and you'll go on something scary with me later. This is gonna be a real snoozer. So far, I'm hardly enjoying myself. How many people can claim to have ridden inside one of these wondrous creatures? <laughs> Ooh, I'm so scared. Please let me off. Ah! Kumbaya! No. No. No! My goodness, I hope Eek and the kids are all right. I sure wish I could find them before... Well, oh, look, a gypsy! Maybe she can tell me where the children are. 
I'm not going on that ride with you, Elizabeth. The tunnel of love is for girls. I'm gonna get disturbing food. Well, I'll bet my favorite fluffy little kitty will go with me. Come on, Eek. Huh? Eek, you're in the wrong car! Oh, Eek, you're going in the wrong ride. That's not the tunnel of love. It's the tunnel of bugs. Bugs! Ah! 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 Well, that gypsy sure was amazing. I feel better now that you assured me I will see Eek and the kids again at some point in my lifetime. Well, I might as well fix my makeup and look for those crazy kids. Where did I put that lipstick? I really should try something new with my hair. to help. Too much caffeine. You are so beautiful. I can see how my robot would grab you and drag you to the top of that dangerous height. Wanna go again? <laughs> oh, Mr. Gundercrust. But this time, you and your family are going to that frightening height in the relative safety of one of our squishy mountain trams, courtesy of Hoyt Gundercrust. Half off. Yay! 
Can the flash go off? <laughs>